Skinny alignment wrong on your CNC table can ruin your accuracy, but today I'll show you a simple trick to get it right and to weld the perfect frame. Welcome back to Still Nice CNC. In today's video, we're going to be aligning linear rods for the table, drilling for size holes, and welding internal supports for rock solid frame. So let's dive in. All right, guys, so we got the HEH 30 linear rails here. They're big bad boys. Um, you're going to need a depth gauge setter or maybe a aluminum block or something where you cut it out and set your perfect uh, distance when you build your machine. I have a punch set, a hammer, a drill. We're going to need some drill bits, a tap for, the, uh, for these particular. And never forget that wherever you buy... Uh, your rails from online, they should all be standard. Just follow the chart for what hole size before you tap the size. Because if you just tap the, the M8 and you put an 8 in, you're not going to have any threads there. So make sure you do this. We're going to measure a few times before we even mark anything down. That's the most important thing when building a precise CNC machine is this. Uh, so let's jump right in. After we're done aligning this, now we're going to use a punch and make some uh, spot uh Alright, so after it's done, we take off these clamps, just put them aside. We'll put the linear rail right back into the tool. All right, so I'm using a magnetic drill. It's just easier to get more accurate uh, punches. So let's. All right, so after we got done um, boring it all out, now we gotta tap them all in. I've already built the frame and I forgot to add in that 80 millimeters extra to the 160. So overall there's 240. So what I'm gonna use is some extra pieces of 80 millimeter square tubing just to raise it up off the floor. And we're gonna uh, put the uh, four pieces together. We're gonna tack weld it and make sure we use uh, proper leveling equipment, uh, right angles and everything. Uh, and then we're only going to attack it because inside the frame I still have to create my downdraft system. Once I start cutting for the downdraft system, then uh, I will also tack that into place. Then I'm going to lift it onto the table and then it's going to be welded. So let's jump into it. I'm going to try to avoid cutting my hand, because this is how I did last time, where I cut my hand. So... Yeah, baby!
All right, Steel Knights, so check it out. It is very, very important when you uh, build your frame. Uh, and if you cut it good, you shouldn't need to um, adjust anything. But on this side here, uh, I cut this just a tad bit too short. So I found some shims to stick in before I tack welded. The width of this is six, uh, 1660. That's 1,660 millimeters or 1 1.66 or 1 meter 0.66 centimeters. The length of this is 2,000. 50, or sorry, yeah, 2,500 uh, millimeters on both ends. And I just got done measuring. Um, I'm just doing some final calculations before before I dive into uh, tack welding the rest of this. For example, right, as you can see, I put an uh, aluminum uh, block on the inside up. I'm just uh, doing this to get the internal dimension. It's a little bit easier, or even external, you can put on the outside. Uh, just account for the um, linear rail spacer already. But the internal needs to be a meter 50. And I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see to how, it, how it looks. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna connect it to the other part of the aluminum. And you're gonna bring it in. All right, there's that 150. See the line? It's pretty much right dead center. I could open up just a little bit more, but I'm happy with that. It's within half a mil. And it's connected like that over there. So that part already is 150. I measured that internally, and now this is 150. So now what I have to do is measure from here to over there doing the same process with what I just did here. So pretty much what I'm doing here is I'm putting the aluminum inserts on the inside of the frame. I'm just making sure that when I tack weld this up that it is internally 2.5 meters long. And this is one good way of doing this because uh, with the tape measure it's kind of hard to push against something. It's easier to pull across something than to push against something. And with that it wind up being 2.5 meters dead on. So what I'm doing is I'm just making one final adjustment and that is I did a little tap um, with my hand pushing it inwards uh, because when I put heat to the outside corner joint like this it's gonna wind up pulling outwards anyway so it's easier to have it a little bit in by a mil millimeter or two and that will help it draw back outwards and uh, all you need is two tacks, top and bottom of the outside corner, and uh, this frame was pretty much done. So I'm moving the aluminum block to the opposite side now where I was welding, or parallel to where I was welding. And this is to ensure that the diameter is still 1.5 meters internally. And, uh, and it also helps with the uh, squareness of the frame. So later on, I don't think I will do it on camera, but I did all four corners. I spent about 30 minutes just switch, switching sides with the blocks just to make sure everything is perfect. Uh, when you put linear rails on and then put your gantry on and everything, it must be perfect because if there's any type of um, outwards force or inwards force, for example, the 2.5 meter long uh, uh, bars here where the rails go in, the linear rails go in, if that is bent inward, inwards too much, your machine will budge and it will not move at all then. So you have to make sure everything is square. So always tack weld first, even the internal supports before you start welding everything out. So as of right now, this is a diagonal, what I'm doing, and I'm just ensuring that the sides match up. So I've done the other side off camera and I'm doing this side now just to make sure it is still within uh, tolerance and it wind up being one millimeter out of tolerance, which is perfect. I'm not complaining about it, uh, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this build series. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe and share this content because it helps me uh, get noticed on YouTube and everything. And if you guys have any question about this downdraft table I'm building, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I will respond and be sure to check out the next upcoming video where I put the internal supports into the downdraft system. So I hope you guys stay tuned and see you in the next video.